Resident Evil 3. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Oh, boy. Okay, let me get this going the right way here. There's me, there's the game. Guys, Resident Evil 3 Make is here. That's right. I'm calling it 3 Make. There's nothing you can do about it. Hope you guys are excited for this, because I've been getting a lot of questions about this lately. <laughs> so I hope you guys are ready. What's up, Blue? What's up, Z? What's up, Jenny? What's up, Norman? Hello, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, let's see. So, I normally have the light on behind me, but I'm thinking for this stream I should probably leave it off. Kind of set the mood a little bit, you know? Because this is going to be... This is going to be scary. We don't want light ruining the experience. And uh, is my voice coming through okay? I did just have to reboot my computer, and sometimes it does funny things with the audio after I reboot, so... Does everything sound good? Everything sounds good? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I did already go through the settings here and get everything set up the way we want it, I believe. This is the PC version of the game, guys. And I've got a fairly beefy rig. It's not the greatest, but it's it's not small potatoes either. And I've got these graphics set up. Okay, well, it already changed the resolution on me. Why would you do that? It's supposed to be 1920 by 1080. There we go. That was stupid. I went in here and set this up exactly the way I wanted it earlier. And now it's like fucking up on me. Yes, please do not say anything about the ending. I would really appreciate it if you didn't do that. <laughs> I know this is a remake of a game that's like 21 years old, but... Uh, I actually, I don't know if I ever even played the original game the whole way through myself. I may not have. And there's other people who might be watching this blind, so let's try to be cognizant of that. So the resolution's correct now. I've got image quality jacked all the way up. I've got... Texture quality at high. A lot of stuff at high. Some stuff at max. This game actually has a really, really excellent built-in tool to help you figure out where you want your graphic settings at. I think more games should do this. Um, but anyway. So yeah, that stuff should be good to go, I think. You can make the button mashing into, hold, into holding the button. Oh, really? I missed that. That's a thing I want to do. Hold. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Thank you for letting me know about that. That's beautiful. Because button mashing is for twerps. So. Um, oh, yeah. Guys, there's... um. There are costumes in this game. Not sure where they are. Not under here. Let's look under story. Yeah, here we go. Costumes has been added. Use this option to change characters' outfits. So, I don't know if I got these for pre-ordering the game or if they just come with these, but we can have default Jill. She looks like this. Or we can have classic Jill, which is kind of matching her design from the original game. Uh, let's have an impromptu vote here. Do you guys want default or classic on Jill? I could go either way on Jill, honestly. I kind of like them both. Anybody has a preference or a desire? Speak now. So far we got two for default, three for default. Okay, yep, default's winning, I can tell already. <laughs> Very good. And then for Carlos, we've got default and then classic hair. Carlos? Uh, no. I'm going to make an executive decision and say we're going with default on Carlos as well. Because I actually love his design in this game. The classic one looks kind of stupid in my opinion. So, default Carlos it is. Oh, so you wanted classic Carlos? Sorry, man. I, I, I'm making an executive decision on that one. <laughs> All right. Enough deliberation. Let's get this started. Play on standard. I'm hoping this actually runs well. 
This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Is this real footage? Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious. He a citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Officials region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Like, why is there, like, FMV in this intro? That's so weird. I did not expect it's that. this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. That's the big guy right there. He's gonna be the bane of my existence in this game. <laughs> this is like a month from being America, man. Don't say that, man. I keep expecting uh, when I walk outside that it's just going to be like fallout all of a sudden. And uh, it's scary, man. Scary times. For anybody who's watching this like five years in the future, uh, this is being recorded right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. We're in full quarantine right now. So we're trading in one global pandemic for another one in this game. But, you know, such is life, I guess. Okay, so already this game has thrown me for two loops here. We have FMV in the intro, and then we go into a first-person view when I actually get control. What is this, frickin' Resident Evil 7 all of a sudden? She keeps... an entire pot of coffee on her desk. Saves her a trip, I guess. Original colors, cute that pops. Style and fashion. Sexy space lady. I like that. Looks like we can open the window. Let's look around a little bit more first. Home. Wish I could zoom in on some of this stuff. This is September. Yeah, so apparently this game... I mean, we all know that Jill was in Resident Evil 1, right? And uh, apparently this game takes place after that, but before Resident Evil 2? Like 24 hours before Resident Evil 2? Okay, that's smart. Shut the window. Oh, look, that's Annette Birkins. Or Birkin. There's no S at the end, is there? <laughs> Umbrella. See, she's already doing research on stuff. So this must be, like, way after Resident Evil 1 then, right? Like, at least a, a week or so, I guess? If it's been that long, why is she still in Raccoon City? That's what I want to know. Moon's Donuts. <laughs> it's a person flying in that advertisement. I like that. Can't make those out. I love reading all these little things. Green Herbs. <laughs> Green Herbs is like an actual brand in this universe, I guess. This. Minato's Pizza, anytime, anywhere. 
Ooh, is that a green herb? Give it. Well, that wasn't smart to leave that on. And also leaving your handgun out like that. Oh shit. Game over. I already lost. Fucking hell. <clears throat> it gets worse every night. Ah, uh, ye old nightmares. Yes, I know them well. Let's get some light in here. That was a fucked up dream, man. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. What are you waiting for three days for? Worst month. Worst month in my life. Yeah, join the freaking club. So we've been counting down the days till the end of the month. What happens in three days? That's weird. reception in this town sucks. Too many pills. Or not enough pills. It's one of those two things. <laughs> hey, Rose, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. I'm correct to the storyline, but apparently Outbreak Disc 1 is before Resident Evil 3 and Disc 2 is after this game. Oh, uh, I never played the Outbreak games. I didn't think they had a really important place in the overall chronology. Jill's report. September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Which also means that you shouldn't have sex with zombies, guys. Don't do that. That's bad news. Contact with crows, which have eaten an infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Yikes. There's a couple too many similarities in that to what's going on right now for my comfort. But you know what? I say that unless the coronavirus starts turning people into flesh-eating monsters, then this game should be a really great reminder that it's not as bad as it could have been. Investigation notes for Umbrella. Pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share. Focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility. Predicated the Mansion Incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership. Large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Basically, they're dicks. And we don't like them. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons men? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. Irons is the police chief, right? He was in Resident Evil 2? 
I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me in into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. Womp womp. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. I'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night, five days. Wish me luck. Yeah, it's just not gonna be that easy. I'm sorry to tell you, Jill. I'm really sorry to say that. But it's just not. Here's some books. They killed him. Wartime. Photojournalism? Creator's rights. Sudden mystery. Nothing really interesting there. Hmm. We have the sea virus in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's exactly what it is, isn't it? Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, hotshot. <laughs> How you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. You ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Back in July? So it's been like four months? No, no, it's been like two months. Still, that's a long time. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension line down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers from the Stars Alpha Team. Now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Mmm. Tasty. Mega Meat. Her apartment's pretty messy. This is actually making me feel a little bit better about my own apartment. Oh no, it's just like the dream. It's just like the dream. I really love the character model work they did for these games. Like, these character models look amazing. And Jill's pretty hot. I'm just gonna put it out there. Hey, Tay Urson's here, and so's Dale. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Oh, he's just here to say hi, and he has to go to bed. Uh, the phone's ringing. Oh, wait, what's this? Hold up. I'm coming. That's weird. What's in there that you could just open it up and look in there? Raccoon milk. Just a sec. Actual raccoon milk from a raccoon. Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Oh, Billy. Dude, he's here already? This seems unfair. Time to go! Holy shit! That's not gonna work. Okay. Didn't notice anything to loot. I'm just gonna move. The hell's going on? Oh, that dude's toast. Look at him. 
Oh, shit. Oh, that's a splat. That's what that is. Okay, let's go. Guys, I might not have a ton of time to look at chat right now. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, put that away. Put that away. Yeah, cut it off. Cut off his flesh tentacle. Hey, I should put this hard hat on for safety. Oh, shit. Uh, yes, this will go on YouTube. Almost everything I stream goes on YouTube. Jeez. What the fuck? That's not going to hold him for long, though. Final escape. No, first escape is the achievement I just got. First escape. Jill? Over here. Brad. Mr. Vickers. You okay? What was that thing? Damn to find, though. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arklay on steroids. I am a bit. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! Hold on, I want to look at the movie parody posters. We got Top Gun over there. I don't know what Bad Luck game is. Maybe Saul? Mars Carlisle's Off Duty? Disaster? Yeah, I don't know what some of those are. If Brad knew all this was going down, why isn't he armed already? Shit! Oh, come on, man. Really? I don't even have a gun yet. What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, so that's how this is going to go. Okay, good. Good. Faster, faster, Jill. These guys aren't fucking around. Door behind you, go! Well, Brad's dead. Nice knowing you, Brad. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry, Brad. Very noble of you, Brad. Oh, give me that gun. Give it. But be careful, because... Zombie.
All right, payback time, motherfucker. Here we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. Please die. Thank you. All right, I've got two bullets left. That means running time. Uh. Um. Okay. Right, I have this dodge move, too. They didn't tell me about it, but I have it. Uh, okay. I'll just try and do that. With me and my two bullets. Chill, bro. He has a point there. You wanna help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. But I handcuff Okay. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Alright, so ends the tale of Dario. Fuck him then. I don't care. Yay, ammo! Oh, and I already have my knife, too. I didn't know that. I don't think the knife breaks in this game, so it's actually really awesome. Because that sucked in Resident Evil 2. Damn it. Something, something. Hard to read. Oh, shit. Um, let's get away from that. How's that sound? It's still good. It's still good. I was expecting him to break out of that window right there. Fuck! Shit. Okay. Gotta get past him. Hurry! Yeah, kick his ass. This is intense, guys. How did everything go from, like, zero to fucked that quickly? And where did she get the whole harness set up? That's a good point. <laughs> hey, I didn't even notice. Hey, get in. Let me look for ammo first. Seems like the kind of place that would have some. I know I'm gonna need it. All right, maybe not. Yes, yes, run him over. Do it, do it. Come on, I want to run him over. It's my turn, bitch. Yes. Oh, he didn't care. He didn't care, guys. 
<laughs> he didn't care at all. Ooh. That shit was crazy. Man, I wish that had been Chopper Mike. I miss Mike, guys. He was so cool. He knew a good bar. We should really do something here, Jill. That's my boy right there. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Name's Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. When do I get to play as Carlos? Because that's what I want. I want that so bad, guys. I love Carlos already. He's my favorite person. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. See, oh, and he's a gentleman, too. Who's the dipshit that closed this? <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, who's the dipshit? You know Oh man, this is so good. This is so good, guys. Um, I feel like most of these movie posters are parodies of existing movies, but I don't know what many of them are. Like this one right here, Hunt for the Missing Ship. Like, uh, is, would that be like one of the Alien movies, maybe? I don't know. That one's obviously Top Gun. I know that one. That one might be uh, They Live, the one with that guy that has the special glasses. I, I don't know. I'm just taking shots in the dark here that one's alien right there and then this one could be like alien 3 or maybe species that natasha henstridge movie that's obviously terminator and that's like terminator 3 the one nobody liked or something i don't know <laughs> oh we got an f chain going for mike that's awesome very appropriate very appropriate i like that guys Nothing seen anything like it but it's no zombie it knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it don't you like that in a man no thanks he's all yours <laughs> carlos is funny listen i promise you're in good hands i'm with the umbrella biohazard countermeasure service ubcs were short are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me you guys are the ones who caused all of this whoa 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 what are you talking about Look, we're just here to help people what's wrong with umbrella What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone! Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. But you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Hell yeah, I am. Come on. It's this way. Maybe I'm just a fangirl, guys, but I believe Carlos when he says that he doesn't know anything about it. Dino Bites? So tasty, they might go extinct. Her, her, her. Will robots surpass humanity? Lobster, Jim's crabs. Ah, that's the scariest thing in this whole game so far. Fucking clowns. Astro Crunch. Freak Cinema. Big E featuring several special guests. Back home for one night only. Is that supposed to be like a Spinal Tap parody or something? <laughs> like a parody metal band? I don't know. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. 
Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. How does he know that? Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. It's a lot My of zombies. My has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. I don't think that's what he meant. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Dude, I want your gun. All right? I want your gun so bad. You know, guys, I'm always really impressed. Yes, Captain, they really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I will miss. First aid spray. He's all better now. That's a full heal. Um, I'm always really impressed with the texture of the, of the, uh, the quality of the texture on the tactical equipment in these games. Like the tack vest, the pouches, and all that stuff. It just looks so realistic. Like, I used to wear that stuff in one of my old jobs, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with them, and it's, it's crazy how accurate they are. Just, like, that stuff specifically, I don't know why, but it really stands out to me. Like, it's amazing. And I still don't know who these douchebags are in here, but I really want to know. Uh, this is where we started the demo, by the way. So for the next, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, um, I kind of know what to expect unless they change things from the demo. UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Handgun is two gunpowders. Shotgun shells is gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder. And then mag is two high-grade gunpowders. Once you're stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become desserts. Whoever wrote that thought they were so clever. They were like, yeah, yeah. This reads really well. They're going to love this. Now, I thought there was ammo here last time. In the demo, I should say. But now I don't see any. So... Guess we'll just move on. Why is Jill rude to Amazing Carlos? That's a great question. Carlos has done nothing but help us so far. Absolutely nothing but help. I bet she'll come around by the end of the game. She'll be like, oh, Carlos, you have the sexiest mop top I've ever seen. And the most highly detailed tack vest. Let's escape Raccoon City together and start a new life somewhere. Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. <coughs> Excuse me. 
The uh, responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? <laughs> who wrote this shit? We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. And it's a little backstory to fill you in there. Something went really wrong here. But whatever died there is not here anymore, so I guess we don't have to worry about it. Yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Rose says you guys wish with Jill. Yeah, I do. I'm not gonna lie about it. Ah, oh, here we go. I was starting to feel a distinct lack of supplies. And I didn't like it. So we got gunpowder, we got two herbs. Can I use the knife on this? Probably not. That'd be too convenient. Just a regular key, I guess? Let me, uh... Okay, making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you points of interest and in items you have found but haven't picked up. Can I... Whoa, okay. Combining items. Yeah, we know all about combine. The question I have is actually... Um, can I combine ammo with weapons in the menu? Nope. Absolutely not. This ain't your daddy's Resident Evil, motherfuckers. You gotta load in real time. So don't screw around. Ooh. Red herb is sexy. So did it mark this on my map? I wish I could zoom in on this. Is there a way? Oh, here we go. Good, good, good. Okay. It says simple lock. And then I can rotate through areas. I can go to inventory. And that's files. Okay. Got it. Here we have what is sure to be a puzzle at some point. I guess I need to use an item on this. Kite Brothers Railway? It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. That was the best part of five, loading from the menu. You know, I don't, at this point, I don't really remember five that well. I've been meaning to replay it. On stream, actually. I just gotta find uh, a good partner to do it with. UBCS Herb Field Manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo, go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorized. So this seems pretty standard. Two green herbs is a high potency, green plus red, or three green is a maximum potency. Then the first aid spray. Can't make these yourself. Grab them if you see them. That should do it. Now let's get this done and then go grab a beer. No real surprises there. I'm hoping that this is a magical inventory box that will have all my stuff in it everywhere I find one. Let's go ahead and store those for now. Our gun holds 15 rounds in the mag. That's good. Quick inventory on Y. Just trying to familiarize myself with the controls here. And we've got a save. No ink ribbons, thank Christ. Okay. One thing I don't like is that I don't seem to be able to toggle my flashlight on and off. I wish I had manual control of my flashlight. Maybe I'll get that later. Four survivors. We've got to 
get that train moving. Quick step. Okay. Here we go. Ready? So if you do this at just the right time, you get like some kind of super dodge. Not sure how it works. Okay, not like that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa there, Billy Bob. Shit. Yes. Infinitely durable knife is the greatest thing of all time. All right, so we'll practice that dodge as uh, as necessary. Kind of a live fire exercise deal. <laughs> How's that sound? You've been working on a playthrough of RE5 and going by memory of the collectibles. 100% collectibles from memory? That's That's a tall order, man. Good luck with that. Amoset. It's kind of a weird name. So I think we want to try and be somewhat conservative with our ammo if we can, guys. I know that this this game in particular is a bit more action-oriented than Resident Evil 2 was, but I still don't think we're going to have, like, a crazy amount of ammo to work with, you know? Bring these guys out into the light. One thing I'm not sure of. So, we have to wait a second for the aiming reticule to kind of close up and give us the accuracy bonus. But I don't know if that includes a damage bonus as well. Meaning, should I always be waiting for that reticule to close? Or if I know that I'm going to hit anyway, should I just let it fly? That's kind of very important knowledge. I think I got him. <laughs> hmm. I don't trust you. We're going to do a lot of ass stabbing in this game, guys. All these dudes need stabbed in the ass, and I'm just the girl to do it. Okay, so let's test something here. If I walk right up next to this, does it add that to my to the to my map? It says padlock door. Okay. If I examine it, it says the same thing. So I don't actually have to examine things for them to be on the map. I just have to get close to them, I guess. Same with this right here, chained door. A little wine to wind down the day. How about a lot of wine to get through this bullshit? How's that sound? Okay. Be very careful not to knife the explosive barrel there. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? 
That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Suave. Fuck you. Oh, she loved it. She loved it. Stab you through the fence. That doesn't work. Sadly. Gotta put this out. Does it add fire to my map? No. <laughs> okay. So we just gotta remember where that is. That's creepy. How about this ladder right here? Nope. I am seeing some frame hitches here and there. Unfortunately. I hope it doesn't keep up. Uh, okay, how many, how many do we got here? Three? Yeah, let's use the barrel. <laughs> I know that I should probably be saving that for Nemesis, but... I mean, I think I already know how to deal with him in this area. I think we just gotta get to there. Once he shows up, it's just a sprint to get to that spot. So... Okay, that's a lot of dudes here, though. Let's go up this way. I remember getting jumped here in the demo. By that guy, I think? Or this person right here. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not gonna play your little game. Okay, that's how we create a shortcut. So now that I've activated that, does that show up? Yeah, it does. Sexy. And since this is still red, I'm clearly missing something in here. Let's look around. Carlos is smooth as hell. Yeah, Jenny, I do know about the electric thing. I'm just saving that for Nemesis. I figured that out in the demo, too. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, so... And that's everything. Sweet. Okay. So, as a general rule, I'm not going to combine stuff until I have to because I never know if I'm going to want to combine it with something else later. But if it becomes necessary to make space, then we'll start combining stuff. I don't trust you. I don't like that. Drugstore Owner's Journal. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off. Literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as work gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. Humble brag. <laughs> the new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure queen. And she'd never give it up for a thief. Oh, yes, she would. Yes, she would, sir. I actually, I did see that code in the demo, but I can't remember what it was, and we'll find it up here, so. Let's play the game right. We're not supposed to know that yet. Okay. Play it 
play a little Ring Around the Rosie with his jackass. Close the door. There was a guy laying there in the demo. He's gone now. Will he actually get through? Yes, he will. Okay. Good to know. Just gonna leave him be for the time being. Shit, 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 shit. Just using up all the barrels in this area, guys. If I can get two zombies, that's all I need. That's the minimum for me. Okay. I'm about to get sandwiched here. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. Inte butts. And you're dead. Very good, very good. Okay, so... Can I just combine this straight away? I can. That's great. That's a good feature. Love it. Oh! You skank. Thought you were dead. How many times do I have to stab your ass? Fuck. Gave her like six new buttholes. Just doing this, like, old RE style right now, guys. Just trying to be very methodical. Trying to t try not to take a lot of stupid risks, you know? Okay. And here we go. 937. You know, I think this is different from what it was in the demo anyway, so that's good to know. 937. Can you guys remember that for me? Just in case I forget on my way back up. Oh. Well, high grade gunpowder action. Okay. Um let's combine two herbs. Then I'll take that. And this area is clear. Excellent. Apparently in Remake 2, in order to get the S++ rank, the highest rank in the game, you can only save three times and speedrun the game. Nope. I have no interest in doing that. <laughs> Forget that shit. All right. Gonna have to deal with this guy in here, I guess. Just, I never know, like, how quickly they can lunge at me. And, like, from what positions. You know, it's interesting, guys. I'm not sure how I'm doing it, but you can do a little... 
can do a little back dodge when you're knifing people. I think you just hold down while you're stabbing. It doesn't always work, though. Nah, we'll figure it out. Nine three seven. Thank you very much. Nine three seven. Easy peasy. Right, the dot sight. That's so good. Combine that shit. And we got the G nineteen handgun with dot sight. Look how much more quickly that focuses in now. I love that. That's a fantastic upgrade. And so early in the game, too. Serious clear. All right. All right, let's see what's over here. Moon's Donuts. You know, I'm not positive. I think one of these buildings over here leads to... Like, the other side... Of the building that we bypassed earlier? Maybe? Oh, shit. Ah! Uh, just hoping to catch this guy, too. <laughs> Shut your hat off, idiot. So three headshots seems to be what it takes to make them go down. And then a number of knifings, an unspecific number of knifings. Yes, I think the other side of this door is the area that we ran down from before. I think. Let's see. Yup. Let's try not to draw any attention to ourselves. Okay, gonna need a chest very soon. Starting to run out of space already. I will combine those. And then 60 is the max for one stack of handgun ammo. Uh, sounds good, Blue. Hope it's nothing serious. What else is in this room? Oh, it's not one of these. Look at that. Okay. Yes! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, what is this? A fancy box? Huh. We got another green herb here. Okay, let's make some space. We're already doing pretty good on supplies, guys. I'm happy with the way this is going. Let's dump in our extra handgun ammo and... Probably all this powder, too. I don't need the high-grade stuff yet. And I think carrying, like, one green herb on me is probably okay. Hold up, can I examine stuff in this game? <laughs> you can examine an item from different angles by selecting it and using the examine commands. Weird. Seems like something is inside, it says. Oh, look at that. A red jewel, an imitation ruby. Looks like it's made to be slotted into something. Could that be the thing that we found back by the other save room? Whatever that mechanism was, I have no idea what it was. 
lot of ammo so early. Yeah, it is. But I, I think I'm also doing a decent job of being conservative. So I feel like I've earned the right to have this much ammo. I guess I'll just store this. Because I have no idea when I'm going to need it yet. And in general, I want to keep... I want to keep about half of my inventory open as I venture out. That's my general rule of thumb. Because I hate having to leave stuff behind. And I also hate backtracking just to get stuff. So... You're kind of taking a gamble going out, not armed all that well, but... I think it's... How I'm going to approach this game. I'm going to bet on myself, you know? All right. Now, what haven't we explored out here? This box over here. Oh, shit! <laughs> that got me. That got me. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck. about you? No? Okay. Did that get anybody else? Was it just me? <laughs> Shit. Okay, so we need... Whatever that tool is called. I'm drawing a blank right now. The big clipper things. So the question becomes, where have I not been? Have I been inside this area? Don't think I have. Bolt cutters. That's what they're called. Bolt cutters. Are you going to get up? Okay. Fuck. Man, I hope this game keeps keeps track of how many times you shank a zombie. Because by the time I get to the end of this game, I'm going to be in, like, the thousands. There's just no way I couldn't be. Um, okay. Let's pick this up. We know where we're using that. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try and find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Long Couch wants a shotgun. Wait. Why can't Long Couch have a shotgun? But you know what? If you can't have a shotgun, a hand grenade's probably the next best thing. There's no question about that. And see, look. I'm already full already. Jeez. There it is, guys. But I don't have the bolt cutters yet. The fuck are they? Why must this game taunt me like this? This must be the subway company's offices. Must be. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, so I guess there's a huge number of those little bobblehead guys all over the game. I'll shoot them when I see them. We're not gonna find all of them. Huh. Nothing. Kite Brothers Railway Manual. Ensuring safe subway operations. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as, <coughs> as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Hold on. I gotta read that again and actually absorb it. Use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that ourselves manually, it seems like, at some point. Which I think is why that text was highlighted green. Dude, there's so many of these locked up boxes all over the place. I guess, obviously, we're going to be back here at some point, so. Hey, thanks for the, thanks for the clip, Blue. Appreciate that. Yes, one day the shotgun will be mine. One day. One sweet day. Okay. I am not positive, but I think a thing might be about to happen here. Okay, no, not quite yet. That's good, that's good. Back in here, please. We're gonna store that, we're gonna store that. Kinda wanna keep the hand grenade on me, but also I just, I don't have a ton of inventory space yet. So I don't know, but I will, I will max out my handgun ammo while I'm in here. I guess I should keep the grenade on me for emergencies, but eh. No, you know what? I don't think I'm going to need it just yet. Famous last words. But I'm going to leave it. <laughs> okay, alright. Now, unless they've seriously changed things from the demo, shit's just about to hit the fan, I think. No? Okay, never mind. They've seriously changed things from the demo. Now I don't know what to expect. They have manipulated my emotions. They have toyed with me. My entire world is turned upside down, guys. Reactivate the power at the substation. Okay, then. So this is the point where the demo ended. Nemesis had already shown up by this point, but we didn't get to play past this. So from here on out, totally blind let's play. No idea what to expect. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh there's another safe area here. Interesting. I do like me safe areas. I like them a lot. Just gonna help myself to those if you don't mind. Now Is someone in here? Why you? Enormous box. That's what Nemesis' mom has. <laughs> I don't suppose I can use bolt cutters on these, right? Yeah, of course not. And I don't really need to do anything with that. I'm going to be saving every single time I see a typewriter, guys. So just be prepared for that. Here, UBCS? Yeah, careful, 
Careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an okay, No, 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 wait, please! No. Holy shit. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Okay, so it turns out that guy's not fucking around. That's really good to know. And you know something, guys? If he knew for a fact that this guy was infected, I don't even really disagree with him. I hate to say it, but you've got to know for sure. Did he know for sure that this guy was bit? Training log. July 10th. Suck it, prison. <laughs> the Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job! Don't know how they're going to wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever. I'll take it. Beats shitting away the rest of my days behind bars. I gotta get back into shape. July 26. Oh, he's keeping track of, like, uh, how well into shape he's getting. He's dropping weight and he's running further. That's cool. Target practice at 400 yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th. Target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. That's amazing. Three inch grouping at that distance? Wow. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The Cap and the other guys are good people, and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. September 25th. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission. Riot Control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people, right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change. The way I know best. Is this guy Murphy? Because that didn't work out so great for you, buddy. Hate to tell you, but yeah. Alright, so... We could keep moving forward here, or we could backtrack a little bit. And there's some stuff that we can unlock with the bolt cutters now, including the shotgun. Which I gotta tell you guys, I kind of really want moving forward. But I know that we're going to go back to that area anyway. And I don't know, maybe this is just like a quick trip up here. So let's tiptoe forward and see what happens. Let's consult the map. This is taking me out. Well, this is probably going to be a whole new area, isn't it? I don't think I trust this guy. Okay. Suicide note. Oh, if he suicided, then he shouldn't turn, right? As long as he got himself through the head. September 28th. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack no matter what was thrown at me. But this job? This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Me too, incidentally. I hope that too. Hmm. Hmm. 
Electrician's Notice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electrician's Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Oh, that's that's their in-game explanation for those things. That's that's kind of smart. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. Handwritten edition. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. Well, that was very handy for that. Because, <laughs> man, zombie dogs. Wow. I don't like fighting them. They're so quick and just kind of terrifying. These ones better not get back up either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fine. I really shouldn't be running places. Because I have no idea what's going to pop out. I gotta say, guys, I am, uh, I'm really enjoying this so far. I, I've actually gotten some shit lately, because I, I don't make a secret out of the fact that I didn't like the original Resident Evil 3. I don't think I ever even finished it. Like, I started it, and I was like, this, I, I've always considered it the worst of the old-style Resident Evil games, and I've pissed some people off lately saying that, but it's my opinion. And, uh, I was, you know, predicated on that, I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this remake, because I didn't even really like Mr. X in Resident Evil 2, and I know that that's kind of like... This game's whole gimmick is Nemesis chasing your ass around. And that combined with the fact that I didn't love the original, I was like, I don't know about this. But I will say I, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. I mean, the way they've modernized it with these remakes really appeals to me. I like that it's slightly more action-focused. I like that the knife doesn't break. I like that I have the dodge move. It just feels better. I mean, maybe I'll feel differently once we start encountering Nemesis. But for now, this is cool. Please die, please die, please die, please die. Why didn't you die? God damn it. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, alright. Oh, I should have got the shotgun. Why did I not. Why did I not get the fucking shotgun, guys? Fuck off! Bitch. Okay. That dude was coming quick, though. Okay, did everybody get enough death? Do we have an understanding here? No, we don't! Bitch! Get out of here! Oh, okay. All right. Oh, hey, what's up, brother? Uh, you actually just missed me saying that I'm actually quite enjoying this so far. <laughs> Which was kind of surprising to me. Based on how I felt about uh, the original game and certain expectations I had for this game. But it, it's been it's been pretty good so far. I just took my first real damage though. I'm not sure if I should use this right now. 
Let's hold off on it and see what happens. Oh, because look, there's a very conveniently placed red herb. Save room, sexy, sexiness. Oh yes, these right here are the best items in the entire game. Give me that inventory space, give it. I need it, it's for me. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. Is this the control room here, or is the control room the place I was in before? And what the fuck is that? No. No, no thank you. Don't want that. Whatever the fudge that is. Okay. Well. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm actually... I'm about to be out of regular handgun ammo. Like, one stack of it, so I might as well just combine these right now, I guess. Get that full stack going. I think, uh... I think now that I have this red herb, I will actually... I think I'll just combine those and bring them with me. There we go. Like to keep some level of organization here. I don't know why it doesn't really matter in this game, but that's how my brain works, okay? There will be spiders. Damn it. <laughs> Giant spiders? Or like regular spiders? Because, man, I just dealt with a giant spider in Ori. Why does every game have to have giant spiders, guys? Why is it like that? This place sucks. Oh. Oh. It smells like Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Not that big, but not regular spiders. All right. Well. Maybe I should have brought the grenade. Two more green herbs, okay. Green herbs, they work. It was starting to look like Chad was never gonna come back from his round, so I poked my head in there and fuck me, next thing I know, we've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat? I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman and then I saw it, a green herb. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent, so I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed. And what do you know? The little things didn't want to be in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm going to head back out there to look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens. Alright, so I guess I should keep these green herbs on me then. Three open slots. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Substation internal memo. The key to the high voltage area has gone missing and the earliest we'll be able to get a replacement in is next week. In the interim, a lockpick will be provided to the senior employee on duty. We only have one lockpick and cannot afford to lose it, so please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it. And please, could you all check just once more that you did not accidentally take the key home? If you happen to find it, please bring it to Kate and Admin. So maybe the lockpick is what I'll use to get through. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have to get a lockpick at some point, right? Because we're Jill. We're the master of unlocking. So that's just logic, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. We got a case. Oh my god. Yeah, that's this is this whole area is gonna suck. God damn it. What's in the case? What's in the case? There it is. A specialized tool which allows a skilled user to unlock simple locks when no key is available. Excellent. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. Don't like this spot here very much. I think I'm gonna run back up here, guys. I think I'm gonna drop some stuff in the box. I have not knifed any explosive barrels yet. I've shot a couple, but I haven't knifed them. <laughs> I know it's not very manly of me. But I've just been trying to be tactical, you know? Alright, so let's store that. Let's store, like... Actually, let's store this full mixture. Because they specifically mentioned greens in this area, so... Yeah, okay. And then we might end up needing the bolt cutters in there. Hard to say. But in the event that we do, I'll keep them on me. Nice. She's good at that. Fuck me! Wow! That was illegal, what you just did to me. I did not consent to that. I did not like that. Ooh, look, I got parasites in me. What is she saying? Get it out. Get it out. Fucking gross. That's disgusting. Okay. I really, really should have got the shotgun, guys. I hate this. Mine. Okay. All right. Come on, bitch. I know you're over there. Quit playing. Why are you playing? Look at you. Look at you. You think you're clever? You're not clever. Fucking stab a spider. I don't care. Just call me Samwise Ganji up in this bitch. Okay. He decided it wasn't worth it. Smart. Smart spider. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, headshot. Did I just kill him with one shot? Really? That's awesome. It's unexpected, honestly. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, we gotta hold this. While we get stalked. Ah! That's weird, man. They show up, but they don't always attack. Yeah, I don't have the shoddy yet. I decided to just venture forward into this area and just kind of see what it was about. And then before I knew it, I was into it and it's, it's just kind of too late.
feel like I missed about 80 things back there. Okay. Ah! What did he even do? Right there. Shit, fuck you! Get away from me! Okay, well these things actually don't seem all that strong, thankfully. They're just creepy as shit. Yeah, I know, right? Let's just get out of here. Run for it. How much damage did he do to me? Put me in caution. That little bitch. Okay. We got two... We need to find two more. Whoa, that was a super dodge! That was awesome! I couldn't even see him! Oh! That one didn't work so great. Oh, you little hookers. Dude, I think I straight up killed that one. That's sexy. afraid to spend a little handgun ammo in here on these guys. Dude, she just looked up. Yeah, oh, she she alerted me to it by looking up at him. That was awesome. Okay. I think I need to go this way. There's one. This area's a little mazy. Oh, I- is that- that's the one I got? Shit, okay. I just got back to the same area somehow. I don't know how I did that. Fuck you. Okay, the red light indicates I haven't gotten it yet. Little asshole. All right, healing time. Gotta find the last one, guys. No idea really where it is. I wish that they weren't smart enough to avoid this thing. They know, though. Fuck off. Okay! Oh, it's right there. How do I reach it? Back here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, all right. Do it, do it, do it. Time to get the hell out of here. Right? This place sucks. I don't ever want to be here again. How do I get out? How do I get out? Son of a bitch. I think it's back here. Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go. Okay. All that leaves is the main power switch. Man, that was rough. Uh, my only fear there is that I maybe left some valuable items behind? What does the map say? No, the map says it's clear. You know what? That's awesome. 
Good. Good. Very happy about that. Enjoy that. Yeah, fry those motherfuckers. Tonight we dine on spider soup. Awesome. Okay. That was intense. But now, theoretically, I never have to do that again. Just, you know, theoretically. I'm gonna take that guy out. I'm gonna store this one bullet, I guess. I don't know. And I guess I'll keep this single green herb just because I am hurting right now. Should I just use it? No. I'll hang on to it for right now, I think. So, what else is in here? There is... What is that showing me? Simple lock right over here? Am I drunk or is there no lock right in front of me? Is that on like a different floor? Guys, what am I missing here? The map says there's a simple lock right in front of me, but that's a lie. It must be on the floor below me. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Jill, stop being so mean to Carlos. He's the man you're going to marry someday, so... Just chillax, all right? Okay, yeah, that's good to know. So the map doesn't seem to distinguish between floors. That's actually kind of annoying. And I don't think I can move up and down between floors. All right. Well, we'll just have to keep that in mind, I guess. Okay. Now we get to meander back the way we came. Something tells me this is about where Nemesis shows up. I feel like he's about to chase my ass the whole way back. Are you shitting me? Yep! Yep, yep, yep! Okay. There's no point wasting handgun ammo on him, is there? Whoa, shit! <laughs> that was crazy! Get up here, bitch! Oh, uh, uh... What's up? Dude, is he just after me the whole time now? Okay, this is a safe room right here. <sighs> safe room, safe room. How about some of them dodges, huh, guys? That was, uh... It's pretty dope, if I may say so. First aid spray. You're fucking right. Put that in my belly. Actually, let's put it in here. <laughs> <sighs> C4. 
save makes everything better. Is that all we got in here? Yes, it is. Okay. Where are we going to go when we get back out of here? There's padlock doors. There's a chain door right there. Way back down here is another save room. Back through there is our destination. That's also where the shotgun is. Okay. I guess we'll try and do a little cleanup along the way because I don't know, like, when it's safe and when it's not. So we might as well just go for it, you know? Why are the zombies all back? Fuck. I see back to- Oh no! I went the wrong way! Okay. <laughs> I don't even need to stun him right now. Because he won't follow me in here, right? Ah! Ah! Okay. I was wrong. How about the safe room? Ah, sweet, sweet safe room. <sighs> Even you cannot violate the sanctity of that. You piece of shit. <sighs> the dodging is really satisfying in this game. It's not easy to do, but when you pull it off, it feels good. It feels real good. All right, let's just save the fact that I'm in here. <laughs> now, will he go away? Shit. Okay. Give me a second, please, sir. Thank you. Get in there, get in there. Okay. <laughs> oh. The holy hand grenade is mine. I guess I should start keeping one of these on me just in case I need to stun him really badly. Or, you know, blow up a whole bunch of zombies. Nemi coming around the corner like, who wants a body massage? <laughs> By the way, guys, what do you think is the proper term for a grouping of zombies? You know, how there's like a murder of crows and a pride of lions. What's a whole bunch of zombies? It's a word that should start with a Z, right? I feel that way. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, please don't talk, you punch me. Please don't talk, you punch me. What? That was... That did not obey the laws of physics. Spin move! Yeah! Huh. Okay, I don't know if he's coming in here or not. I really hope not. Okay. I think we're good. A gaggle of zombies? Sounds legit. Okay, you. Get in my fucking belly. Yes. Yes. The M3 shotgun, baby. Okay. Holds four cartridges. Probably not going to do much to stop the nemesis, but I feel a lot better having it on me. Let me see. Uh... Okay, yeah, we're good here. We're good. Whew. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. 
One second. I'm just going to have to see what's in here. Yeah, baby. Except I'm out of space. So we're going to go ahead and use this green herb now. Because I would leave a person behind before I left shotgun shells behind. That's the God's honest truth. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done. So we got to get from one side to the other. Position and action. So we go from one to... Damn, that's hard to read. Does that say 97? Or just 9 with a smudge on it? I only have 1 through 4. Re, re, S, A, F, what the fuck? Okay, so RE stands for Red, Redstone Street, right? And then Faust would be FA. But what number should it be? One term for a group of zombies is an appetite? Is that canonical? Established? <laughs> I also like how it doesn't take up two slots, Norman. But I think it will. I've heard... I, I, this is slight spoilery, I guess, but apparently you find a number of add-ons for for your weapons throughout this game, and the more you add on to them, the larger they get. So, like, we'll reach a point where, like, the pistol and the shotgun both take up two slots. Which would suck. I don't know what the number is supposed to be here. Is it just, like, the order of the stops? Maybe? I don't know, but then RA would be Raccoon Central, which is where we need to go next. So we'll make that two, I guess. And then we got to get into St. Michael's, which is three. And end at Fox Park, which is... I can't change that to be four. Okay, so that's not what the numbers are supposed to be. Hmm. Let's just see what happens when I hit this. Unable to establish route. Please try again. Oh, I couldn't see these numbers before. So we want Faust 2, Raccoon 3, St. Michael's 2. Right? 232? Two, Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. Nailed it. I finished inputting the subway route. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Return to the subway station. Does that mean I have to go all the way back to where I just fought all the spiders? That's so far away. Good news is, I got a lot of the stuff around here. Uh, the bad news is, there's still a lot that I haven't. Subway control room, subway station. Oh no, we're going back to where we started this whole area from. Oh, I got you, I got you. Okay. What have I missed in here? Nothing. I missed something in the subway control room, though. It's unfortunate. I don't want to go back out there, guys. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop being alive. 
Oh, get your flesh stick off me. Alright, it's gonna be like that, huh? It's gonna be like that? Dude, open up! Oh, come on! Don't eat my head! Don't eat my head! Wow, I don't like those things at all. Still only in caution, though. Those guys are tough. They take some punishment. Fucker. Go down. Jeez. Okay. Let's plan out our routes. That's a chained door? I should go check that out. Okay. Right over here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Dude! Could you not, please, and just say you did? Jeez. Okay, all right. This is a thing. This is a thing. Really wanted to catch more of them with that. I think I just picked up a hand grenade and shotgun shells? Okay. Dude. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, come on. Why didn't that one work? I feel like I dodged. Okay, did Nemesis go away? I, th I think he might have went away for a little bit. <sighs> Serious nightmare fuel right there? Yeah, it really is. Guys, I missed something in the subway control room. Should I try and get back in there? I hate having that one red spot on the map. Actually, can't even tell. It's it's transparent. I don't know if I missed anything in there or not. Hmm. There's. There's a lot going on out here. Really? With your flesh stick? Just quit it. How do I get to... Oh, this isn't it. Shit. Where is this place I'm trying to get to? Oh! He moved faster than I thought he would right there. Oh, that was, that was close. Was able to knife him away from me. Oh, 
Okay, I don't even know if this is the right spot. How do I get to that subway control room or whatever it's called? Yeah, but it it's red, but it's also like kind of transparent. I don't know if that means it's on a different floor or what. I don't know how to get there. It's like right here on the map, but it's it's like it's on a different elevation. Alright, I, I should just leave. I should just leave. I'm taking way too much fucking damage here. This isn't worth the heartache. <sighs> okay. What are we doing here? If I'm going to carry grenades, I might as well carry all of them. It says different maps. Maybe it's either elevation or a literal different map you have to pick up. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess I just don't go there yet. That's all I can assume. Alright, we're going to want both the lockpick and the bolt cutters to explore areas up there. I don't really love the idea of only running around with one healing item in caution, so I think I'm just going to eat one of these right now. Okay. Oh, let me restock my handgun ammo as well. There it is. Oh, I have shotgun shells in here too, don't I? Hell yeah. Sweet. Okay. Let's see if we can unlock some of those other areas. Shit's getting pretty real out here, so I don't know. There's something right out here, too, that I haven't picked up yet, apparently. But then we just got to come up here, and there's these two doors to go in. And then we're just trying to get back to where we came from after that. F. What the hell is it doing to them? Okay, what haven't I picked up? Where is it? There. Gunpowder? Was that it? That's it. That did not last long! That did not last long! Fuck you, homie! I hate these things. Dude! Aw, oh, you hit your own homie, idiot. Fucking shopping cart! Get out of the way! Oh my god, oh my god. Get in there! Fancy box. I'm, I'm out of room. Uh, Should have dumped something. Fuck. Does he come in here? You know what? I can mix that to make shotgun shells and then discarding key items. You can discard items that have served their purpose or any other key items with a trash can mark by selecting the discard command. Oh, that's awesome. So I can discard the bolt cutters now. I don't need them anymore. That's perfect. And then I think I can combine these. I don't know what the max on a stack of shotgun shells is. I'm going to guess 20. But that's perfect for right now. Alright, 
What's in this bad boy? Oh, a blue jewel. So we've got a blue jewel and a red jewel now. And there's something else in here. Beautiful. B E A U T F U L. All right. And then we got to get across the street, and there's a padlock door right there, but I'm out of inventory space, man. We might have to come back after we hit this chest down here, but let's just check it out. Yep. Fuck you! Get up, Jill! Fuck! Come on, Master of Unlocking. <laughs> Gotta do this quick. Ugh. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Why are you so grumpy? What did I do to you? Can't we talk this out? No, you're just gonna stare at me all grumpy like. Fine. Your Charlie doll. The original Charlie doll was based on the likeness of Toy Uncle's founder, Charlie McBurgan, and has become the mascot for the company. We are pleased to present this porcelain Charlie doll as a celebration of our 25th anniversary. Individually handcrafted with love and care by our staff, this limited edition item makes for a precious gift. We hope he'll find his place as a cherished member of your family. Caution, this product is extremely fragile. Take care not to drop it or strike it. And, uh, definitely don't shoot it. Whatever you do. Um, shouldn't there be one, like, right around here? Like, right there? Mega Man? Wow. I guess this is a Capcom game, huh? I was, I was about to say, like, can they really do that? And I was like, oh, wait, they own it. <laughs> this is old school Mega Man, too. This is, like... Like, early NES days Mega Man. Hey, look, if you line it up right, it looks like Mega Man's punching that kid in the face. That's pretty awesome. Punch that little bitch right in the face. Okay, so I guess that's all that's in here. But I, I, don't, I don't have room. There's no way I can make room. I'm not dropping any of this shit, so... He did a superhero landing? <laughs> yeah, he did, didn't he? That is a cool throwback. I like that a lot. And then we got Arthur Special Edition? Who is... Why does he have a Batman symbol? Who is Arthur, and why is he stealing Batman's icon? I don't like it, and I'm going to contact... my governor about it. So, okay. We gotta run out of here, guys. We'll have to come back up real quick. You're an asshole. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Fuck me. Shist. Where am I going? Where am I going? Here, here, here. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to need that open again at some point. Just FYI. Is that really enough to stop him? I guess the other door was enough to stop him, so why wouldn't that one be, you know? How do doors work? Oh. Uh, okay. Store that. Man, I really don't want to leave this grenade. I like having grenades on me. I like it a lot, guys. Oh, Ghosts and Goblins? Maybe. That's a good call. I forgot about that series, honestly. So, let's see if we can use these gems on this guy right here. 
got a red jewel and a blue jewel. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's so, that's so nice of you. Thank you for that. What if I give you the blue one? What will you give me then? Oh, oh guys, tactical stock for the shotgun? Fuck yes. Uh, I'm gonna need to uh, use that immediately. And it still only takes one slot. That's fucking awesome. Okay. So, man, that sucks. I really wish I'd gotten that other gem now, because those were some really good rewards. And I wonder if I can ever go back. Can I ever go back? They closed this bitch off. Guys, am I locked out of that forever now? I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm trying to think, is there any other... There's handgun ammo right there. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, is, is there any reason we would ever have to go back to this area? I don't know if they'll let me or not. Hmm. Alright, well, in any case, so we've got the monument there, and we've got the simple lock here. Let's see what's in that. More shoddy. Happy to take them. And yep, that gives me an even 20, which appears to be the max. Alright. I need another hip pouch, guys. Oh, what if it's a hip pouch? That I would have gotten for using that gem in here. Oh, I would cry so hard if I missed that. I would just straight cry. All right. Well, we must soldier on. Stiffen up that upper lip. Forge ahead. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai. How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Helping? Time to start carrying dead weight, friend. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Her mouth's gonna get you Sorry killed. Everyone's a little worked up. Not again. No. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. What? Hey, Joe. No. Damn it. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. Son of a bitch. No, oh, God. That, that was not worth. <laughs> I picked up the spray, but I paid for it. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Brother, I don't want to know, like, what it is, but can you tell me if it's possible for me to get it later? I'm going to keep running while you're answering that. Oh, look. Hope you like that, you little bitch. Um, oh. 
Come on. Third time's a charm. Hurry the fuck up, Jill. Jesus. Stole my ass. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos. Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. Oh, man. I'm in the sewers now. Find a way above ground? Now where am I? Yeah. Whole new map down here, apparently. Okay. Oh! Sewers map. Yep, every Resident Evil game has to have a sewer, doesn't it, guys? Isn't that just the rule of life? Of the area. Perfect. Oh, what a conveniently placed map. All right, we gotta stow some more stuff. Let's see, you get stored in there. I hmm, actually have four hand grenades already. I wonder, also, is there a way to sort these. There we go. Good. Resource. Ammo. Oh, cool. So it kind of... You can sort through categories and it brings the category to the top, it seems. I like that. Okay. So, I feel like this is the minimum I should be rolling around with right now, which means I have three open slots. Man, it'd be so cool if there was more. It'd be so cool. You go in there as well. Right now, my brother's trying to find out if, if that item that I miss can be obtained later or if it's gone forever. If I can get it later, then I don't want to know what it is. If I miss it forever, then I might as well know so I know how pissed off I should be about it, you know? I just remembered the kind of monsters that were in the sewers in Resident Evil 2. And I'm going to take some of these grenades with me. <laughs> Unable to find anything definitive. Yeah, it makes sense. The game did just come out today. Well, we'll just roll with the punches and see how it goes, I guess. Um, let's just bring one grenade. We'll probably find more along the way. <gasps> Space! Give it, give it. Let me in there. How do I get in there? Guys? It's a hit pouch. It's the strongest glass of all time. Damn it. Oh shit, Final Girl! Rating with a party of 11. Thank you, Final! That's so sweet of you. I appreciate it. Everybody, please go check out Final Girl if you're not following her already. Please go check her out and give her a follow. She's amazing. Welcome, Raiders. How are you guys doing? Oh? Increase sewer security. 
We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery packs on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. So we gotta find a battery pack and stick it right in there. Oh, darn old budge. Looks like it needs a power source. Hmm. I, I'm so angry that they showed me that hit pouch up there, but I can't seem to actually get it right now. It's like the biggest cock tease of all time. Guess we're going into the muck. Smart. Battery operated doors is a terrible idea and a huge safety violation. Is it? I think it depends on how secure the battery is. I mean, the battery itself shouldn't be the security mechanism. It should just power the security mechanism. Tyrant Show, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, man. Okay. What the fuck is that? Hey, uh, how about one of these? Oh! What the fuck was that? Oh, he died like a bitch. One grenade? Big Lizzle, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Okay, he seems dead. <laughs> that was terrifying, but I am glad to know that I can kill them with a single grenade. Metallic Gamer, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so much. Oh, for the love. I should have brought more grenades. Damn it. I hit it. I hit it eight times. I don't know why she waited so long. Okay. Six shotgun shells. Assuming he's actually dead. Seems dead. Dude, these things are terrifying. Their whole design? Like, ugh, what the fuck? They're way worse than the ones from Resident Evil 2. Oh, I recognize these. Yeah, flame rounds. Where's my grenade launcher? Give me that. That's what I need. Ah, sounds good, Final. Thank you for, uh, very much for the raid. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful night. Stay safe, all right? Where the hell am I now? High-grade gunpowder. Herb action. A love letter? My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. No. Hunters suck. Oh. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Oh, wait, is that what the, those creatures I just fought were? Hunters? Because those are not the same hunters from the other games. 
Um, haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved hunter Gammas, are truly superior. So they're a new breed of hunters. That's terrifying. Um, I know hunters from Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil Code Veronica. And uh, in those games, they're just like these little like kind of like swamp creature things. They have sharp claws and they're fast. They're strong and they're they're scary, but they're not like those things, you know? Anyways, I got to combine this stuff. They do fucking suck. I agree. Looks like something out of Dark Souls 1, one of the most disgusting enemies in the game. Actually, I still haven't played Dark Souls 1. Um, let's unlock this thing. Explosive A. Got that explosive ass going on. That's gross. Okay, so I guess... Explosive A is probably, uh, yeah, combined with another Explosive A to create Explosive Rounds, or combined with Explosive B to make Flame Rounds, so that's the grenade launcher equivalent of uh, gunpowder. And here's the battery pack, which I don't have room for, and it takes two slots, really. It takes two slots. Well, that's not coming with me right now. I'll tell you that much. Okay, let's check the map. I came from over here, I think. We came a long way already. There's an office over there if I backtrack. Up this way seems to kind of wrap back around. Interesting. That's the room with the hip pouches it, in it, I think. So that means I'm going left out of here. And I'm going to see if I can snag that thing. It's more like a ranker from Star Wars. Yeah, I could see that. Wait. Oh, I can go back here. Okay, good. That didn't look like an area I could go through at first. At first glance. <sighs> this is... This is probably, like... So, other than Mr. X, this is probably the main thing I disliked about the style of these remake games. They still insist on the whole restrictive inventory thing. And to me, that's not really that fun. What is this? Sewer workers' notes. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cops said he'd probably skip town, but I said no way. Not with his baby coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke-breathing, toad-faced motherfuckers. <laughs> Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops up out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ, either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm going to hit it right in its big, ugly mouth. Sounds like a plan, buddy. A plan that did not work out for you. I should say. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Resident Evil 4 has the most perfect inventory system of all time. It's one of the reasons it's one of the best games ever made. Just make all your games like that. And... Shit. Okay, so this was the right way, but I can't keep going because the ladder's not down. I don't even see a ladder here. This map is a liar, yo. This map is lying all the time. I don't appreciate it. So we've got to go back this way. From here, I think we want to go right. 
and that's going to take us to the office, hopefully. But there's also another ladder here. Which... I did not go up before, did I? Let's check this out first. Because I didn't even notice this was here. I don't think. You unimaginable bastards. Alright. Never mind about that way. Let's see what the office holds. Oh. And there's another hand grenade, but... Uh, God damn it. I should just go back and hit that chest. Well, let's see what's up here first. Okay! Come on, Hunter Gamma. I know your weakness. I read the document. I mean, it was pretty fucking obvious anyway, but still. I will say, guys, the enemies are bullet spongy in this game, but at least they're fairly consistent, you know? Three zombie headshots usually takes them down. Doesn't kill them, but it takes them down. Six shotgun blasts seems to take those guys out reliably. I mean, I've only tested that twice so far, but still. Here we go. Thank Christ. Okay, research assistance logs. This is a long one, guys. Strap in. All right, March 4th. Gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Combat potential low. Water temp, 18 degrees Celsius. Interesting. Okay, they're raising the water temp. Uh, experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Water temp is up two more degrees. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. Excuse me. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. Now we're up to 25 degrees. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma's quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I've procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. Now they've dropped the temperature back down. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. And they settled on 21 degrees Celsius. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gamma's promptly eliminated him. <laughs> promptly. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Cool. Invoice from Gun Shop Kendo. We saw, um, like a, a magnet or a flyer for that shop on Jill's refrigerator in the beginning, I believe. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXXX grenade launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammo types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model, and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten notes on reverse. Explosive rounds, A2. Flame rounds, A plus B. Acid rounds, B times 2. Got it. Mine rounds. Can't be readily crafted. Not worth stocking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. But they exist. So we know. Fun fact, in RE4, the Red 9 is the highest damage for its exclusive upgrade out of the pistols. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm aware of that. I still prefer the Blacktail, though. Oh my god, it's right here. Oh, fuck, guys. MGL grenade launcher? Okay. 
All right, uh, you go in there. You go in there. <sighs> I need more space. This is garbage. Because this takes up two. Look at this. Damn it. This is this is unfair. This is not enough inventory space. It's just not. Okay, well. I, you know what? I almost hate to do it, but I'm not using the knife down here. At least not much yet. Because all we're fighting is the hunters. And I gotta keep the lockpick on me because, you know, who knows when I'll need it. And I gotta keep at least one heal on me. Like this, I can only manage like one extra inventory slot right now. Tuck some bullets in here, brah. I wish. I mean, I, I guess, like I could go without one of these weapons, but that sounds shitty, right? Like who wants to just leave the shotgun behind? You can't leave the pistol because that's like your main weapon. You can't leave the shotgun because it's the freaking shotgun. And the grenade launcher is like what you want down here because you got to use the flame rounds on the hunters, right? Uh, I would love to go get the hip pouch right now. The problem is I don't know how to get it. Um... Well, okay, I guess what I gotta do... I've gotta make enough room to pick up the battery. I know where the battery is, right? And this isn't gonna cut it. This is too much stuff down here, so... Oh, God, this sucks. Okay, for now, we will leave the shotgun. And I will cry myself to sleep. Did I see any other healing out there? It's a hand grenade, gunpowder, shells, no. So I really should keep the first aid spray on me. Okay. Yeah, the battery's two slots and I have three now. So, I mean, I know that some people really like the way the inventory management in Resident Evil works because it it plays into the strategy. You got to be smart with how you do things. I get that. I really do. But what this has done now is it has created a scenario where I don't get to bring my fun weapons. The shotgun, which I picked up not all that long ago, really. And uh, you just have to like go without it now. So it's, it's the game is incentivizing you to not use your cool shit, which I think is not awesome design. And I'm probably going to get shit for saying that because people love Resident Evil and I get shit on every time I say anything negative about it. But like, it, you know, I think it's true. Anyways, let's go grab that damn battery. Uh, where? This is on left. Okay, that's fine. Was it this way? Yeah. I'm not allowed to have opinions. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. There it is. There's the goddamn stupid battery. And that's it for in here. Okay. So... Yeah, let's go back up that ladder. Um, uh, 
Which letter should we go up first, actually? Yeah, I guess it just depends on, like, what people are looking for out of the experience. Having a limited inventory does make it more of a survival experience, which I get. Um, I don't know, I, I just... Ever since Resident Evil 4, I just tend to like the more action-oriented ones. As long as they're not, like, ridiculous and stupid. Okay! Tell me that was enough. Okay, good. That, it took him a while to die, and I was like, wait a minute. If one flame round doesn't take this guy out, after they told me, you know, explicitly that he's weak to fire and heat. Son of a bitch. Come on. Very good. Very good. Takes takes you out of the game because you could for sure find a backpack laying around and toss your stuff in there. Yeah, I mean, that aspect of it doesn't really bother me so much because, like, I don't think games should ever be beholden to what's realistic and what's not. That doesn't always make for fun. That's not the metric I use. It's it's literally just about the actual game design itself. Just design a fun game. You know? Like, uh... Mother fuck! I was not expecting to see you in here. Um, yeah. The example I always go to is that, like... Nice. I was wondering how this is going to work with the battery, because... Kind of need that. <laughs> but there we go. Um, the example I always go to is horses in video games. I, th I think it started with Shadow of the Colossus, where they got this idea where they were like, we're going to make the horse realistic. We're going to make it so that he doesn't listen to you sometimes. And then, like, that's been perpetrated in, like, every other game with horses since then. Breath of the Wild, Red Dead Redemption. Every any, Anytime there's a horse in a video game, they're like, well, horses have minds of their own, and sometimes they don't listen to you. And I'm like, fuck off. If I'm controlling a horse in a video game, I want it to listen to me. I don't care that it's realistic that it just does its own bullshit sometimes. Give me a thing I can ride that just works and doesn't annoy me. Realistic does not equal fun. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, we're here. Thank Christ. Get on my person. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. That helps. That helps big time. That helps a lot. Was that all that was in here? Seems so. And now this battery can basically just sit in the pouch that I just picked up. So that's actually quite handy. Breath of the Wild did it well. Once the horse trusts you, it obeys totally. Does it obey totally? I thought there were still occasions where it would give you shits, but yeah, maybe you're right. I guess that's fine. As long as it as long as it obeys you totally eventually, then like, sure, whatever. Do your stupid bond system. I just don't see it as necessary. That's just me though. It was really bad in um The Last Guardian. The whole thing with Trico 
not listening to you sometimes. Like, that entire game was built around the mechanics of Tr of Trico, and sometimes he would just go off on his own, just be like, fuck you, dude. I'm doing my own thing. I was like, why Why do you think that's fun? That's not fun. It's infuriating. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Wait. Okay, where... Where am I going here? There's the battery pack. There's the office. Did I actually get everything down here? I think against all odds, I actually did, except for this stuff here, but this is where I'm climbing out of right now. <laughs> okay. And now I don't have my fucking shotgun! Fuck! Shit, though. Yeah, why does he have a flamethrower all of a sudden? Where'd he get that from? Jeez. Guys. Guys, safe room. Thank you. Thank you for the safe room. I'll take some of those. I'll take that. Okay. Prepare for big nasty fights. In the case of The Last Guardian, couldn't those specific mechanics be considered a narrative device to build the character of Trico? I mean, yes, it probably could, but it doesn't change the fact that it's really annoying to play with when you're trying, like, when you figure out a solution to a thing and you're trying to do the solution and you tell him to do the solution and he's like, no, I'm just going to go take a nap over here instead. I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to solve that in a way that wouldn't annoy people like me, but I don't know what it is. In any case, there are bad things happening right now. <laughs> Give me my shotgun back. Give me three of those. And... What kind of grenade rounds would be best against Nemesis? I can make more flame rounds, but those aren't good for him. He doesn't care about flame rounds, right? What I should do is make some uh, acid rounds. Explosive could be good, too. Explosive could be good. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, Ferret. Story and realism should not take priority over fun. That's why I hate the horse mechanics. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know what to make here, guys. I mean, explosive rounds sound really cool. Let's just make some of those. And then the question is, how do I swap those out? Left bumper? Wow, really? That sucks. Because you... Oh, you don't have to be aiming down the sights. I got you. For a second, I thought you had to be aiming down the sights to do that, which requires left trigger. So left bumper is a really awkward button to hit. But that was incorrect. So never mind. So I think I will actually stow these because I need to bring some shotgun ammo as well. And then... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, I don't need to bring that, obviously.
This is probably a pretty good loadout. I feel like maybe I should bring... Like, maybe I should stow the lockpick for now and bring maybe another heal. But then I'm going to be pissed if I end up needing the lockpick. Let's take a gamble. Let's see how it goes. Let's roll the dice, guys. Might as well use up these green and reds while I got them, right? You go there, you go there. That's good. Whew. Honestly, this might be one of those parts of the game where, like, I don't even need the handgun. This ominous music that's still rolling in this area has me thinking that we're not done with Nemesis yet. I think this whole sequence is going to be a Nemesis sequence coming up here. Wow, there's a lot of you dudes. No items, though. Which means I'm running for it. Damn it. That didn't work. Yeah. I got to get out. Quick. Fuck. There he comes. Okay. Oh. Hold. Uh, oh, ladder. Ah! My biscuits are burning. How do you get up here so fast? Auto jump like Legend of Zelda. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. I was like, there's no jump button in this game. Yeah, they're funneling me towards a boss fight area up top here. That's what's happening. We're gonna fight him on the roof of this building. Look, another convenient safe spot. Unexpected. But welcome. Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. How convenient. <laughs> Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current unrest has subsided. All employees are to stay at home and wait and await further instructions. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, nothing's changed with the inventory, so... Let me just see. Do I have more shotgun shells in here? Because if I do, I should top them off in my backpack. Uh, I don't think I do. No. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's do this, motherfuckers. I could make some, but, uh, we'll see if I need to, if I get my ass kicked here and, and I have to reload, you know. Oh, he's got a big, he's got a big tank on his back. All right, let's do this. You've made a huge tactical error, sir. You're going to find out as soon as I get behind you. That's literally what I just did. Oh. Nice. Oh. 
Yeah, he doesn't like that shit. Wait, there's items. Oh, oh god! Da, 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 da. <laughs> Dude! Give me items. Damn it. Okay. Oh, jeez, he's fucking raining fire on me! <laughs> I was like, what's he doing? Uh. Dude! Okay, how many explosive rounds does it take to blow up a frickin' tank? That's what I want to know. Ooh, red herb. Can I take it? Nice. That thing's not ready yet. Oh, jeez. We're only in caution. We're good. We're good. Is this thing ready to go yet? Oh, I caught myself with it. <laughs> that was ass. Maybe a grenade is in order here. -hoo -hoo -hoo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. He didn't like that shit. Okay, his tank is destroyed. Now what? Still kicking? Oh. What? No, thank you. No, thank you. Damn! Okay. Uh, I'm hurting. I am officially hurting. Alright, let's go back to the explosive rounds then. What?! Oh, I didn't know I was fighting fucking Neo. Okay. Oh, god damn! Oh, that was, that was brutal. That hurt big time. Wow, okay. Let's not get hit by that again. I gotta stun him with this again, I guess. Shit, that's not what I wanted. He's gonna dodge it every time if I don't stun him, apparently. No. No. You know what, asshole? I have another one of those. Oh! Did I get him? That was a really cool shot. That was some action movie shit. Did it, guys, and I didn't die once. 
Pro Gamer, MLG. Whew. Oh, that's one way to clear out the old inventory, isn't it? <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Do they still teach kids that? I don't even know if they do. Wow, okay. That soaked up all of my explosive rounds, which is unfortunate. But hey, anyone you walk away from, right, guys? Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. No, he's not. Good. Fuck him. <laughs> Turning yourself into bait. You be killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Back. <laughs> he said good. Fuck him. I'm telling you guys, Carlos might be the best character in all of Resident Evil. Leon's up there. And I've always had a soft spot in my heart for Lewis and Chopper Mike. But Carlos is damn cool, guys. He is damn cool. Am I coming back to the original area now? Oh, and I left some handgun ammo back there? Hold up. What about Claire? Claire's pretty cool, too. I, I am a fan of Claire. But I don't think she's as cool as Carlos. Why can't I go back? Oh, that's stupid. That's a mark against this game. Gating me like that? Don't like that. So, where am I now? Demolition sites? Oh, maybe I can swing back around there now? No, never mind. Definitely can't do that. Hmm. Wesker is Norman's favorite. Wesker's pretty cool. He had a really good evolution, I would say. This is from Resident Evil 2. That's Gun Shop Kendo. We went there in Resident Evil 2. This is the parking garage. How about that? And this is like 24 hours before all the stuff in Resident Evil 2 happens? Oh no, this place already looks pretty fucked up. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it looks like there's only the one way out of here, so let's try and dodge some zombies. Hold up. Yes. No. <laughs> I need a fucking chest. Explosive B. I don't even have anything to combine this with right now. Just bet I can't like stick it in here. It's not how it works. Guys, if I come in here and steal the thing that Leon was going to get eventually, does that create a time paradox? Does that retroactively ruin my Resident Evil 2 playthrough? Semi-auto barrel for the shotgun. Man, I'd love to pick this up right now. Can I just combine it? I can't. Fuck, why can't I combine it? Oh, God. 
I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry so hard. There's all kinds of stuff in here, and I can't fucking get any of it, guys. Oh, I could pick this up and combine it. Okay. Kendo, you're all right. You're all all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. This is the guy with the bit daughter. We're using the subway to get people out Isn't of town. Isn't it? You win? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We can use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. <laughs> oh, that's that's your job, right? Uh, take care, Jill. Okay. You have fun with the whole situation. To the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Oh, thank you. So I guess I wouldn't have been able to open that gate anyway. Hey, uh, Kendo, you sure everything's all right in there? I've got some herbs. And, and a shotgun, if you end up needing that. Just saying. Just just putting that out there. That's all. That's all, really. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it feels good to unload all this shit. Feels really good. Combined. Obviously gonna need that. Let's grab everything else. Got it all. Let's see how this bad boy looks once we uh, attach this. Looks very similar, actually, but uh, now it takes up two slots. What did that do? Like, can I? Okay, here we go. So the tactical stock suppresses the muzzle rise and increases accuracy, and the semi-auto barrel increases the fire rate and destructive power. So that's actually a fantastic upgrade. That's worth taking an extra slot, I guess. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't roll without the grenade launcher at this point, guys. I don't have hardly any ammo for it anyway. I mean, I could make some. But, I mean, how much am I really going to be using it, you know? Wait, what? What? I, yeah, I... Why, why, is, why is chat freaking out? <laughs> I know there's a chest here. Did I do something to annoy everybody? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking we just roll without the grenade launcher for now. Bring shoddy, bring... That increased the uh, ammo capacity, too. I can carry six shots in it now. That's pretty good. I like that a lot, actually. So, yeah, okay. I think that's gonna be my, my layout. And actually, I will store that and I will take out the first aid spray. I'm only prioritizing first aid spray because I don't know if there's gonna be another kind of herb later that we could combine with a mixed herb, like a mixed green and red, and make something that gives us like a temporary buff or something like that. I seem to recall that there were blue herbs in Resident Evil 2, which gave you a temporary buff. So I'd like to hold on to as many herbs as I can. I mean, I'll use them if I have to, but I'm prioritizing first aid sprays, is what I'm saying. So. 
Oh, you said, oh my god, because of the little girl. Gotcha. Sorry, I misinterpreted that. I thought I did something stupid, and everybody was like, you know. Anyways, guys, all right. Uh, that's a good start to this game. I think I'm going to call it here. That's 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 the first three hours of Resident Evil 3 make. Um, very similar to 2. I think I'm, I, I'm enjoying it about as much as I did 2. Many of the complaints I had about 2, I also have in this one, but they've also made some good improvements. So overall, I, I'm enjoying the experience. Uh, I would say Nemesis is not nearly as annoying as Mr. X, because the, the whole thing that sucked about Mr. X is the fact that he was dynamic like on one hand it's it's cool yes it's a cool game design mechanic to have a dynamic guy stalking you while you're trying to do regular shit but also it's also it's kind of annoying <laughs> and just aggravating after a while it was fun for like 10 minutes and then i was done with it um nemesis isn't really like that anytime he shows up it seems like it's scripted and it's less of a stalking thing and more of a run for your life thing which is more exciting to me so it's the way they implement him seems much better to me for the way that I like to play these games. And um, yeah, this is cool so far. I'm I'm happy that I am enjoying it because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I'm, I'm liking it a lot so far. So uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out on the stream. I appreciate the support, guys. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll do the Stardew Chill stream, set, uh, you know, Saturday, sun, Stardew Saturday for a couple hours at least. And then I'll probably do more Resident Evil 3 in the afternoon. Um maybe around the same time I started today, let's say like 4 PM mountain standard time. So if you'd like to continue watching plan on being there then. And, uh, until then you guys have a great night, stay safe. Thanks again and take care.